This is experiment number A20, investigation of the characteristics of fans. The main aim of this experiment is to investigate the performance of centrifugal fans at various speeds. Here are some of the equipment we will use. There are two manometers. We will use this first one to measure the static pressure before the settling plates and the second one to measure the static pressure difference across the nozzles. Also, we have the fan test rig and the power meter. This is the air inlet over here, which is fully opened presently. And this is also the air outlet, which is fully closed. Before starting the experiment, we need to make sure each manometer is well leveled and the fluid reads zero. So we can check whether it's leveled with a bubble. If the bubble lies directly at the middle position, that means the manometer is leveled. If not, we can use these two buttons to adjust the levels. Now let's have a look at the fluids which read zero because they are well leveled. Now we can start our experiments by turning the main power switch on. So it's at the on position now. Now let's start the power meter by pressing the start button here. And also run up there to get the whole system running. Following the lab manual, we'll carry out the experiment in two stages. For the first stage, we'll run the fan speed at 45 Hz and 30 Hz in the second. In both stages, we shall take 10 measurements by closing the air outlet from the fully open position till it is fully closed. But we will keep the air inlet fully open. So here we can see that the air inlet is already fully open. From here we'll carry out the measurements for the first stage which are 10 in total so we need to open the air outlet to the fully open position and we shall change it for each of the 10 stages by closing it gradually till it is fully closed there are 10 marked points in total so like I said, we'll start with a fully open position. So in stage one, we need to carry out the measurements at 45 Hertz. So we'll adjust the speed of the fan using this button. When we get to 45 Hertz, we will now take the three readings. The first being the static pressure before the settling nozzles which is here around 0.89 then we will also measure the static pressure difference across the nozzles which is here around 0.48 So the third measurement 
is the electric power which we can measure here in kilowatts. Now we will adjust the air outlet to the second mark and take readings for the second measurement. After that, we can move on to take the three readings. So first, the static pressure before the settling plate, which is around nine, 0 0.95, and the pressure difference across the nozzles, which is around 0 0.48. And finally, the electric power in kilowatts and so now we will repeat the same process for all the other eight marks until we get to the final position where it is fully closed so we'll do for the fully closed position now So we come here again and we take the static pressure before the settling plate, which is around 2.75 and the static pressure difference across the nozzles, which is around 0 0.06. Then we finally take the electrical power. That brings us to the end of stage one. And so now we will carry out stage two by decreasing the frequency or speed of the fan to 30 Hertz. After decreasing the frequency, we shall carry out the three readings for each of the 10 marks at the air outlet that's from the fully open position to when till when it's fully closed so we open the air outlet fully now then we take the three readings again first it's around 0 0.44 then we take the other reading, which is around 0 0.23. Also, we will take the electrical power. From here, we can adjust the air outlet to the second position. Then we move to take the reading the three readings again for the static pressure before the settling plates around 0 0.42 and the static pressure across the nozzles 0 0.21 then the electrical power as well we shall then repeat these three steps for all eight other positions until we get to the fully closed mark which is 10 so we'll take the reading for that from here we can see that the first reading is 1.2 and the second one around 0 0.03 and we'll take the electrical power in kilowatts as well so this brings us to the end of our experiment the rest we shall do some calculation in excel thank you